So y'all already know what it is when I pull this bag out right here. It's empties time. Hey you guys, CC back with another video and today's video is super exciting because it's time to do an empties. I cannot stand going into the new year with any type of trash or clutter or anything like that. I try to have my house as clean as possible. I try to organize everything that I can before the new year comes. I don't like the Christmas decorations to catch the new year. Nothing like that. If you guys want to see organization and declutter videos and things like that, head over to my vlog channel, Bradley TV, and you guys will see those videos videos among other things but this video specifically is going to be about my makeup hair and beauty products that I'm trying to you know let go of before the new year you guys know I collect all of my empties in this old Sephora VIB bag been doing it for years at this point and so now we're doing another empties before the new year I have a lot of good stuff in here I have makeup I have hair I have body care skincare all of that that you guys are going to see today and I also encourage you to go ahead go through your things do some decluttering do some organizing get rid of all that trash that you do not need don't let the new year catch you slipping okay 2019 is here it may be here it may be coming depending on when I upload this video but just know I got rid of this stuff in 2018 okay let's jump in so I have this bag sitting on my lap here and I'm just gonna pull things out in no particular order. And the first thing that I see is this Summer's Eve Delicate Blossom Cleansing Wash. Now I talked about this in my hygiene routine video and this is something that I religiously use. I've already repurchased it and I love the Summer's Eve to use on my veg area. That is what I, that's the only wash that I use on that area and so. Next is the Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Detoxifying Charcoal Facial Wipes. These are some of my absolute favorite facial wipes when I'm coming from the gym. I love it so much because after I'm done working out, I can wipe my face and I don't have to worry about all that dirt and oil and all that clogging my pores. So I definitely already repurchased these. I have them in my gym bag already and I just absolutely love these. I do have some body wash in here. I don't know how many times I can say it, but I'm not particular on body wash as long as it doesn't leave me feeling super dry I'm fine with whatever and so I picked up the amber and argan moisturizing body wash from bath and body works as well as the wild Madagascar vanilla shower gel from bath and body works I mostly use bath and body works body washes because I catch them on clearance like the semi-annual sale is going on right now so y'all better head over there and pick up the good stuff before it's gone but that is when I usually catch all of these that's the only time I shop at Bath and Body Works and so I have so many shower gels from them on deck just because they were on sale. Other than that I'll use the Suave Essentials. You guys have seen me using that as well and yeah that's what I use. I do have a deodorant this time and it's the Degree Motion Sense Dry Spray Pure Clean Ultra Clear deodorant and I do actually really like this the only thing I hate about spray deodorants is the price these things are like five dollars almost six dollars so I don't always get the spray deodorant but I have purchased a few um, lately so I'll probably be using those and you guys will see them in the next few empties and then I have some lash packs as well I went through these eBay number five lashes I don't have any to show you I actually have a pair on because I used the last pair right before this video but then I also used up some of my favorite lashes which are the Salon Perfect 614 lashes I've been talking to you guys about those lashes for years they sell them at Walmart get you some let's move into some skin and hair care so for hair I think I only have one thing for hair yeah and it's this Aussie instant freeze mousse with a 24 hour hold I like this mousse just to kind of like smooth down my closures and my frontals and things like that and I just like it helps like smooth out the baby hairs or the flyaways I should say so I like this one and Aussie products are super affordable so that is really nice. And then for skincare, I actually have a several products here. And one is the Pixi Glow Tonic. I have been using this like crazy and it's just such a good toner. I use this up in a month. I mean, I used it after I washed my face. When I got out of the shower, I would put this toner on my face and I feel like it like instantly brightened my skin. I don't know, but I need to go ahead and repurchase this. I definitely will be repurchasing. 
I have another toner in here. It's the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Problem Skin Toner. So I ran out of this and before I repurchased, that's when I tried the Pixie Glow Tonic because I had this in my collection for a while. And I really love this one too. The one thing I love about this the most, you guys have seen this a million times in my empties, but I love the spray nozzle so I don't have to get a cotton ball, put it on the cotton ball, and then wipe my face. I can just spray it on my face and this just makes my skin feel really good and refreshed and nice. I love it. All right, something that I did not love, like at all, was this NXN, it's Nurture by Nature Fresh Start Foaming Cleanser. Now I hauled this probably two, three months ago maybe, and it's like one of those recurring bills, you know, you give me your credit card number, they charge you every month and send you a box. I canceled it immediately after the first month because every single time I used this cleanser, I broke out. Every single time, and I couldn't figure out what it was, but it was this cleanser and it was just awful for my skin. Like I would not recommend this. I believe this is only an online brand, but I would definitely not recommend this. I mean, I don't know if it will do that for everyone, but it definitely made me break out. I mean, it was like immediate too. Like I used it and then I started breaking out and I stopped and then I was like, maybe that wasn't it. And I started again. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Last skincare is this Glam Glow Power Cleanse Daily Dual Cleanser. Just I liked this before. I think I liked it a whole lot actually. And then I started using it again recently and I just was not the hugest fan. I got through most of it, but I just didn't want to finish it. I didn't feel like it was doing much for my skin anymore. And so I decided just to go ahead and get rid of it. Okay, so lastly, I have a butt ton of makeup, like a lot of makeup. So let's go ahead and get into that. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. I have one random product and then the makeup. And that's the, um, this is called the Peppermint Essential Oil. And so I've been getting into diffusers lately and my essential oils. And so I used up the Peppermint Essential Oil, which is probably my favorite. So I've already repurchased another, but I just wanted to show you guys that I did use that up. Okay, into the makeup. Let's go with something that you guys know will be in this video, which is the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. I have a brow pencil or two in every single video. This video is no exception, so I did use that one up this month. I also used up a brush cleanser. This is the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. It is all gone. This is one of my favorite solid cleansers, and I used it up. I love this cleanser. It's just $16, and it goes so fast. So I've been trying other brands of solid cleansers that I've been liking as well. So I don't know if I'll be repurchasing this or not. All right, let's get into a lip gloss. This is the Becca Ultimate Color Gloss in Fallen Angel. I've had this for a while and I finally used it up. It's such a nice nude, like brown nude lip gloss. So I would definitely recommend it if they still sell it. I haven't seen it anywhere but then I haven't been looking. So if they still sell it, I would totally recommend this lip gloss. It's a great formula. Three mascaras that I went ahead and used up this month is the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. Fun fact about this, they actually changed up the formula on this. So we'll see how that one, the new formula works. I have the hip, I think it's called the Hypnose Drama and it's by Dior. I want to say Hypnose Drama Dior. It's all scratched off. So that's why I can't see it, but I used that up. This could be Lan oh, this is Lancome, not Dior. That's what this is. And then I have the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara that I used up as well. Two liners that are completely gone is the Makeup Forever, um, what is this, the Aqua Eyes in black and then the Maybelline Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Eyeliner. Both of these are really great eyeliners and I would totally recommend them both. I used up an Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I've been trying to use this up for the longest so I finally used it up and now it's gone. And I would repurchase that and I've already repurchased a version of that setting spray. If you guys saw my latest haul then you know what I mean. I actually have a foundation in this empties video and it's the uh, Maybelline Super Stay Stick Foundation in Toffee Caramel. I've been talking to you guys about this forever. Like I cannot get a single little bit more out of here unless I scrape it out with something. This is one of the best foundations I've ever used. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I am obsessed with this foundation. I've already repurchased it and I couldn't say any more good things about this. All right, now this product I didn't use up 
but it just all kind of fell out of the canister and it's the Farsali Jelly Beam Highlighter. I've been talking about wanting this forever and literally I got it and a week later, one, I don't know if I got a bad one or what, but it was like in some type of liquid, like it's been sitting there for a long time and then I picked it up and went to try to use it and like kind of turned it over and the entire illuminator fell out in, into the trash it was ridiculous so i just went ahead and put it in the empties i chalked that as a loss and i won't be repurchasing that two more products one being this lip product it is the bite beauty agave lip balm and i used up Again, I can't get another thing out of this lip balm. This was such a good lip balm. I love using it just like before my makeup or while I'm doing my makeup just to get my lips soothed and soft and nice and ready for a lip product. So I kept this in my desk drawer and I already have like backups of these. So I'll be continuing to use these. Last but not least, another product that I've already repurchased is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I have went through I don't know how many of these and this is just another. I just repurchased a full size one so you probably won't see me go through that for a long time. But I love this powder. You guys know I don't even have to talk about it. You guys know I, I'm in love with this powder. So this is what that is, the Laura Mercier Translucent. So that's all folks. That is everything that I have used up over the last like month and a half, two months. I actually had a good amount of stuff there and I was really surprised at how much makeup I used up. And I, that makes me so happy because I just have so much of it and I want to try to get some of my money's worth. So it makes me really happy when I use up my makeup. I've been trying to get also a lot more makeup tutorials out for you guys so you guys can also use the makeup that you have. I've been putting tutorials also on Instagram so make sure you're following me on Instagram so you can see those tutorials as well. I love you guys so so much. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys!